Hello everyone, Neil Tappin here from Golf Monthly and welcome to this video in which we're going to be taking a look at the Callaway drivers for 2020. As you can see, there are five different models to choose from. And I think it's fair to say that between these five, there is something here to suit just about every golfer there is. The question is, which one of these drivers is right for your game? Now, of course, whenever it comes to finding the right driver, we would always recommend that you go through a full and thorough custom fitting. That way you'll find the driver that's right for you and you'll get the best value for money from your purchase. But before you go, before you go and do that, what we want to do is take an in-depth look at each one of these drivers to find out what you can expect from the performance. We're gonna start with the standard Callaway Maverick. The standard Callaway Maverick is a mid-spinning, mid-launching design with a slight draw bias. And really, this is Callaway's uh, Maverick driver that they really thought about for the vast majority of golfers there are out there. So in terms of a handicap category, we would say anyone from sort of right quite low down, single figure player, all the way through to higher handicappers could enjoy the performance benefits on offer here. Now the key technology to talk about is something called the Cyclone Aero shape. You'll notice it if I hold it up, you see it from the toe view. The back of the driver just sits slightly higher in this model than it does in other models within the range. And ultimately that's designed to help the driver get through the air a little bit faster, provide more uh, club head speed, more ball speed, and ultimately more distance. And then with the other technologies that Callaway have built in, you should also notice really good forgiveness. So uh, no doubt about it, the Callaway Maverick, the standard version, has been designed to be a really true all-rounder. Okay, so in our testing, we were really impressed by the performance of the Callaway Maverick. And I'm gonna start by talking about the feel because through the ball, the feel that you get is quite a, a sort of a dull, powerful, impact sound and that's exactly what I would be looking for. I thought that it, it sounded uh, just really powerful and was a, actually a significant improvement on the Epic drivers that we'll come onto a little bit later in this video. But perhaps more important than the feel was just how easy this was to hit. So I felt like during my testing I could hit, make quite a smooth swing. I didn't feel like I had to swing the club too hard to get the ball up and away and I think that's the sort of thing that's really gonna benefit players, just that confidence knowing that you don't have to hit it too hard and that the club will work for you, it will, will get the ball up, and it will forgive those mishits that we all make, you know, those little toe strikes and heel strikes, it will forgive those, and you'll get good distance consistently with the Callaway Maverick. Now, my only slight negative point here, I think would be about the looks of this driver. And now, I'm not talking about the looks down behind the ball, I think it looks great behind the ball, it's got a lovely shape, really quite a traditional shape, and I really like that carbon composite crown. I'm not 100% sure about the orange from the sole view, I don't know whether that's gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but ultimately it's not the looks that does the job, it's the, the, the sort of performance package. And for me, this is both forgiving and it's fast. And I think a lot of golfers will really enjoy using the standard Callaway Maverick. Next up, we have the Maverick Sub-Zero, and this is a lower launching, lower spinning design. It's really aimed at those players who are faster swingers, and it should help them produce sort of more controlled ball flights, ball flights with the right amount of spin on it to sort of maximize the overall distance. As a result, this driver is definitely the one in the Maverick range that is aimed at the sort of lowest portion of the handicap spectrum. We'd say anyone from sort of a, a faster swinging eight handicap and below could really benefit from the performance on offer here. Now, in terms of the technology, we're gonna focus on the jailbreak technology. This is uh, something that you'll see across the Maverick range and across the Epic range as well. And it's two bars that sit uh, just behind the face of the driver to help support that face to help provide a little bit more uh, ball speed. And in addition to that, the Sub-Zero is actually a little bit smaller than the other drivers in the Maverick range. It's 10 cc smaller than the other two, so it sits slightly more compact down behind the ball. And then the final thing to mention here are these two weights that sit in the bottom of the head. There's one that's slightly heavy, heavier than the other. And that means that you can really dial in the spin profile of this driver. If you're looking for a little bit more forgiveness, you'd move the heavy weight back. If you're looking to really dial in the spin, bring the spin down and give you a more controlled ball flight, then you might want to move that heavy weight forward. It's really something for the fitter to do. So there's plenty that can be done to this uh, Maverick Sub-Zero to really dial it in for those players that are slightly faster to swingers who are looking for a little bit more control.
Now in our testing, this was the driver that was slightly faster than the other two drivers in the Maverick range. Uh, it was providing a little bit more club head speed, a little bit more ball speed, and a little bit more distance as well. Now I think that probably speaks to the fact that it is a slightly more compact uh, head design, so just getting through the air that little bit faster. And that's not necessarily gonna be to everybody's liking. It is a little bit more compact down behind the ball than the other more generous options that you've got to choose from. But if you are someone that is a confident ball striker, I think you're gonna love the way that it looks down behind the ball it's got a very classic traditional shape now when i came to testing this driver i knew it was going to be fast and i knew it was going to be long but what surprised me was just how forgiving it was i think this speaks to the, the work that the uh, callaway engineers have done the ai has done in creating that flash face it seemed to provide excellent consistency of distance it was really forgiving those slight miss hits so again even though it's a driver that's definitely going to help faster swingers hit the ball further i think you'll be impressed by just how much forgiveness there is on offer from the Callaway Maverick Sub-Zero. The Max is a higher launching model than the standard Callaway Maverick, and as such, it's really been designed to help players with slightly slower swing speeds. Uh, when you couple that with the fact that this driver also has slightly more draw bias built into the head, uh, it's really designed, again, for the slightly higher handicap category. We would say anyone from sort of 12 and above who's a slightly slower swinger or somebody that has a tendency to leave shots out towards the right could benefit from putting the Callaway Maverick Max into play. Now, in terms of the key technology, uh, what we're talking about here is the flash face. This has been designed by artificial intelligence and it should ensure that when you hit shots slightly out of the heel or out of the toe, you still get great performance from those shots, you get great distance and forgiveness. In addition to that, you've also got a couple of movable weights uh, in the sole of this driver so you can increase the draw bias on offer. When you set the Callaway Maverick Max down behind the ball, you'll notice that it has what we would describe as the biggest footprint of the three Callaway Maverick drivers. Uh, so it's slightly larger to look down on, it's slightly longer from front to back, and I think that really speaks to who this driver is aimed at. If you're somebody that's looking for as much confidence as possible from the tee, perhaps driving is not your uh, strength in your game, then the Callaway Maverick Max is well worth testing. It is forgiving, it's really easy to launch and it provides excellent consistency of distance. I think when you couple that up with a really good custom fitting where you get the right shaft and you'll also be able to set the driver up to help you guard against those weak shots out to the right, then the Callaway Maverick uh, Max has everything you need to help you build more confidence on the tee, help you hit more fairways and help you hit the ball a little bit further. Okay, so next up we have the standard Epic Flash Driver. And a bit like the standard Maverick, uh, this has been designed to suit a really broad spectrum of golfers. Anyone from a sort of single figure handicap and up could really enjoy using this. Now, one thing I'll say about the handicap categories we're using in these videos, you need to take those with a pinch of salt. They are there as purely as a guide to help you understand where everything fits into the range. Exactly what driver you go for will depend on things like what you like to look down on behind the ball, also also the specific way in which you deliver the club to the ball and also things like your shot pattern so where do you most commonly miss all of this uh, all of this information can filter into what driver might be right for you but as I say with the epic flash we'd be saying anyone from a single figure handicap up uh, could enjoy the performance benefits here now in terms of the key technology, really uh, the, the most important thing to talk about is the original flash face that Callaway designed uh, by using their artificial intelligence computer, feeding all the data in about where golfers tend to miss hit shots and trying to preserve ball speed on off center hits. It's created that sort of quite interesting face shape um, for this driver and it should help you whenever you do hit shots slightly out of the heel or slightly out of the toe. And the other thing to talk about here is this sliding 16 gram weight that sits in the back of the head this allows you to set it up to hit a draw or a fade to whatever shot shape you're looking to create while you're out on the golf course one thing that Callaway for me has definitely nailed with this driver is the looks I think it the shelf appeal is fantastic when you combine that with a sort of quite modern carbon fiber crown look that you get down behind the ball but the classic shape I think this looks absolutely superb now one last thing to mention about this driver is that it was launched back in February 2019 and it came in with a recommended retail price of 499 Now it might be that you are able to find it for a little bit less than that now. Uh, regardless, it's still a premium driver. The component parts are excellent. The shaft offerings that you have to choose from in the Epic Flash range are superb. And as we always say, make sure that you go for a custom fitting if 
if you're interested. Uh, any, I think, any mid or slow swinging player, there is no reason why they wouldn't get excellent performance from the Epic Flash. And finally, we have the Epic Flash Sub-Zero, and this has been designed to offer that lower spinning performance, a little bit like your, what you'll find with the Callaway uh, Maverick Sub-Zero that should really suit those faster swingers looking to control their ball flights. Again, in terms of the handicap category, we would say that anyone sort of eight and below confident ball strikers and faster swingers are the ones who could benefit from the technology at work here. Now, the key technology to talk about here is a slightly lighter weight carbon uh, composite crown. Now this allows the engineers to move the weight exactly where they want to in the head in order to provide that lower spinning performance that we were talking about. And the other thing that players uh, will get with this driver is a sliding weight here, but this sliding weight is slightly lighter than it is in the standard Epic Flash. Uh, so you get the chance to dial in either a draw bias or a fade bias, and it's something that could make a difference to you if you are a faster swinger, if you're looking to just exactly uh, dial in the shape of your shots, uh, then the Epic Flash Flash Sub-Zero can do that. So when I tested the Sub-Zero version of the Epic Flash driver, I went from using the standard version into this one and immediately noticed a drop-off in terms of uh, both the launch and the spin. And now that's not something that's going to suit everybody. There's going to be some golfers out there that maybe don't swing the club fast enough and notice that the ball has a tendency to sort of drop out of the air and doesn't give them as much distance as they're looking for. But for those players who do swing the club fast and have a tendency to produce too much spin, this driver could really make a difference to your game. Now, one thing I wasn't quite so sure about with this was the feel. For me, it has a slightly higher pitch sound than I prefer. And it's something that, that I think Callaway improved on when they launched the Maverick version of the Sub-Zero. For me, that has a slightly more duller sound through impact, more of a powerful hit through the ball that I preferred. However, that wouldn't put me off using the Epic Flash. And the last thing that I'll say, something that I really like about this, is the ability to dial in uh, a little bit of shot shape bias in the back of the head. It might well be that you're a faster swinger, but that you prefer to see the ball shaping from right to left. You have a tendency to leave the ball out to the right, so shaping it from right to left uh, would help your game. You can do that with this driver, and it's something that I think golfers will benefit it from. Either way, if you are a faster swinger, if you're somebody that's looking to control your ball flight, uh, control the spin, then the Epic Flash Sub-Zero is well worth trying out. So there you have it. That's our look at the five different drivers in the Callaway range for 2020. I hope you found that useful. Uh, now, obviously, all of these drivers come with a premium price tag. And as I mentioned right at the start, make sure that if you are thinking of investing this year in a new Callaway driver, that you go for a full and thorough custom fitting. And one thing I would say is if you do go for a fitting, make sure that you tell the fitter what your sort of typical shot patterns are, in particular, the miss that you have most commonly. It can be one of those things that the fitter's able to sort of set the driver up to help you guard against those misses, to help you keep the ball a little bit closer to the golf course. And ultimately, if you can make your bad shots a little bit better, then you should be able to shoot lower scores. Guys, there you have it. That's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.